This tutorial will show you to create a simple text effect like this. And to analyze this, um, this text effect, it's going to go in here. You click on wireframe, simple wireframe. You would notice that the highlight, which is the white, is a vector image. And this one here, the half of the font, is actually a transparency. So if I click on that and go to transparency, you would notice it is a transparent uh, object. You know, now in here it's also the same with the word tutorials. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the graphic design first text. So I'm just going to type in graphic design. Okay. And then I'm just going to make the font, the same font that I used in there, so which is Comica Axis. If you want that font, that font is also available in the font.com. Move that there, and this one, bring it there. Okay. okay, now I'm just going to color this. I'm going to make it darker blue here. Now, the first thing you have to do is we're going to do a contour going inside okay so you click on the, f the text and you go to your interactive contour tool so once you click on contour here in the dialog box I am in mean the property bar here it shows up that you have options this one is to center okay uh, this one inside okay the contour goes inside and this one is outside you see that one, that one goes outside and then this is the number of steps. If I make it more steps, see it changes. And this one is the distance. If I go more distance, you will notice that this one increases too. The distance increases. And this one is the fill. If I make that orange, see it becomes orange. I'll just make it white for now. Okay, so I don't need seven steps. I only want one step. So I'll change it to one. And then in here, I want going inside. So click going inside. Now, I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, the distance, I'm not really happy with the distance. The distance is too big, so I'm just going to make it smaller. There. I think that's good enough. And then I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to go to Arrange and Break Contour Apart so that I can separate the contour and the font. So Break Contour Apart. So I can edit that one now. It's going to go undo here. Okay. So now I'll click on the the white white text. And then I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to copy it. Okay, You're going to realize why I copied it later on. So I click on copy here. Okay, so now it's in the clipboard. Okay, my white font's in the clipboard. And then now I click on the white text again, plus sign in your keyword because I'm going to make a duplicate without an offset. So plus sign. And then I'll make, so there are two white texts already on top of each other. I'm going to uh, just color it a different color aside from white. And then I'm going to, in my, I can move it. Okay. Until you expose a little bit of highlight there. Let's say that one. Okay, a little bit more there. Let's say like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna move it up a bit. Yeah. Now what I'll do, I'm going to click on the white text, which is this one that says white, and then hold down shift and click on the red one. And then once I select those two, this one will show up here. This one is weld trim intersect looking at the image because I only want the white 
highlight here so I have to choose back minus front so the back minus front so my red is in the front and I'm going to retain the back so back click on back minus front and there there you go see so it leaves the white highlight there okay now now this itself can be a can be a font uh, effect already but let's say you want to put a you know a white transparency there you remember we copied the white text in our clipboard keyboard now it's time to paste it so I click on paste here or control V right now in here I have the white text I'm going to put on a, a transparency so you go to your transparency tool and then click and drag here if you want to have a straight straight path going down uh, while you're doing this hold on control and shift and you'll have a straight line I mean straight path but we only need a part of the text like half of the text so what I'll do I'll create a box so I'm gonna create a box like that and it does matter if you want to color it or not I'm just gonna color it now like that and then here same thing I click on my white uh, text with transparency and click on hold down shift and click on the the box that I made okay and then this one will show up again so I need the um, back minus front okay so minus front I don't want the front one so I click that and there you go and you can still adjust the transparency click on that go to transparency and there there so that's that would be the same as the tutorials here okay I'm just gonna do it quickly so type in tutorials and then I'm going to change the text to this one same size okay I'll make it red I'll make it a darker red here so if you want a darker red so you click on it and then you in here hold on control and then just click on this black and it will give you a darker shade of red it's too much okay now here I go to my contour one step uh, going inside one step and let's say I'm going to increase the distance okay next thing is to go to arrange break contour apart okay so those are two separate objects now the contour and the the text the original text now I click on the white text plus sign your keyboard and then I'm going to color it with a different color and then go down you can use the arrow keys in your keyboard right? and then I choose this two this one the white text hold down shift and the blue text okay and then just click on uh, back minus front I'm gonna undo it first because I forgot to to put it in the 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 um, clipboard the blue text so I copy it okay so the blue text is in my in my clipboard now and now we can start uh, trimming the text so this one blue hold down shift and click on the white text and then click on back minus front there you go and then I still have that text in my uh, in my 
clipboard so I click on paste I'll make that white I'll put transparency on it so click on transparency click and drag and then I'm going to create a square here to there just about half of it I don't need to color it actually but okay so anyway so click on this which is the white text with transparency hold down shift shift click on the box and then back minus front there. then some adjustment on the transparency Here, yeah. so simple font effect or text effect but very nice and elegant 